And first of all, I want to say thank you for being here. I know there's a lot of things going on this weekend that are just fabulous, and there's a lot of good speakers and a lot of um, incredible information out here, and we're all under one roof. Yeah. This weekend, hello, isn't this fabulous? And what are we doing? What are we doing? We're changing the world just by being here together right now. Okay, so this is a very, very exciting time, and I'm from Bend, Oregon. I live in Bend, Oregon. Anybody know Bend, Oregon? Hello, Bend, Oregon. No. Okay, a few people. <laughs> All right, Bend is a great place to live. We've got the Three Sisters. We've got Sisters Mountains. We've got Mount Bachelor. It's a really beautiful place in Oregon to be. Um, I am so glad I can be here. Uh, this was an opportunity for me that I didn't want to pass up. This is the 13th year of the Conscious Life Expo, and this is the first year I'm here, even though I've been doing these talks for about 20 years. And I just want to say, I am more profoundly affected right now with all of you and all of the things going on today in the world, which we're going to talk about a little bit, by the way, and with how it's affecting our physical body. And the exciting part is that we're all doing it together, and whether we know it or not, it's happening. Okay, so what I'm here to do is I'm here to help you to understand what's going on, okay? And how I believe firmly, firmly that our physical conduit has to be our vehicle to where we can reach a potential within ourselves that we already know. We already know. Most of us know we don't understand. The difference is, is we haven't connected the dots yet. We haven't been able to connect what it means to change, to shift, to understand the new beginnings and where we're going with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you to understand logically, physically, chemistry, all of the things that are going on today because of the changes, okay? So the first thing I want to tell you is when, Pete, when I sit on a panel, a lot of times they'll ask me questions like, Mo, why should we listen to you? Okay, and, uh, and, and all I have to say is this, because I'm funny. <laughs> it's, it's a humor, it's you know, I, I enjoy it. I, it's, it's not a big deal, you know, I mean, we're all born with beautiful abilities. People call them gifts. I'm not so sure about gifts, but I can tell you that I know that what we're doing is profound. And I know that each and every one of us has a story. And I honor your story. Okay, this is the most important thing. There are a lot of speakers here, but did anybody go to the science panel? Did anybody hear the science panel? Okay, a few people. Yes, you were there. You were taking pictures, right? Did I see you? Or that was with George Norrie? Yes. Okay, yeah, you were taking pictures. Okay, get it straight. Um, and so the, the, the science panel included a lot of the beautiful speakers that are here. And I must tell you that with their schedules and how busy they are, it's, I, I, I have a schedule and mine is really busy, but theirs is like off the charts busy to the point where even Greg Braden said he does not know his schedule from day to day. That is how busy he is. He just has to trust somebody's, oh, you're going here? Oh, we're gonna go to Peru? Oh, next week? Oh, okay. You know, he's just like in it because he knows that he takes it a day at a time. I love that. The other thing I love about it is that each and every one of those speakers, we are not higher you must understand, this is not about being higher than anybody. What this is, is it's just the information that we've collected that we're willing to share. That's all it is. And that information that we're willing to share is helping everybody to become more of who they are. So there's nobody better than anybody else. This is very, very important, okay? The other thing about this is, is the important part is that those scientific people that are here are discussing how every person is not only capable, but able to become more than what they've ever been because we are at the time of crucial change. As uh, Greg Braden calls it, he calls it, we are in a very, very important time of, of transformation. And it's about the resilience in our time. The turning point is his book. And it's about the resilience, not the resistance. The resistance is what we have when we have fear, and we know this. And so what we're doing is we're trying to figure things out. But because what's happening right now in the solar system, we are now being emphasized as a human race to be able to understand that we are just one unit. We are one family. All of your relationships that you have are related to each other. When you have a relationship and you speak to somebody, I don't care if they're a stranger, if it's spontaneous, or if you've had a lover for 40 years, whatever it is, you have somebody there 
that you're mirroring. That person will mirror you. And that's the attraction that's happening right now that's actually building. Okay, so 2015, I've been doing this a long time, okay? And I've understood where we're at in these cycles because that's what I do for a living. I work in this field. My brother died when he was three years old. I was six months old. I was the youngest of six. And my brother was an albino. And uh, he had a weak heart. It was very spongy. And when uh, Danny went, it's right here in Los Angeles. And uh, Danny was the first heart transplant patient at the age of three in LA. And his heart wouldn't function. And my mother was up 24-7 with him while he sweat. 